so if you're thinking of taking the azure data fundamentals exams this video is definitely for you i'll be sharing Welcome back to my channel. If you're new on this channel, my name is Chiso. I'm a software engineer and YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. You guys might be guessing why I'm so happy. Guys, we hit 1,000 subscribers, I think two weeks ago. So if you've not subscribed to this channel, we have a family of 1,000 plus subscribers. So do well to click the subscribe button as you watch this video. So recently I wrote the Azure Data Fundamentals exams and guess what? I passed and I realized that I could do a video to tell people more about the exam, what they should expect, how they should prepare, what they should use to prepare and little things that they should know and little things that I missed. So if you're thinking of taking the Azure Data Fundamentals exams, this video is definitely for you. So about the exam, it's a kind of foundational exam that gives you a foundational knowledge of data on the cloud, playing with data on the cloud, storing data on the cloud. So obviously the cloud service provider we're going to be talking about or you're going to be specializing on in this exam is Microsoft Azure. So this exam gives you a solid foundation on relational databases, non-relational databases, big data analytics, um, data practitioner roles, and it's for roles like the database administrator, database engineer, um, or even a data scientist or a data analyst. So literally anybody or any beginner that wants to know how data works in the cloud and how data moves around in the cloud, how data is provisioned on the cloud. So what should you know about the exam? The Azure Data Fundamentals exam is divided into four huge parts and these parts have several proportions that they reoccur in the examination. The first part is core data concepts. So you're going to be learning ways that you can represent data, um, semi-structured, structured data, unstructured data. You're going to be learning about transactional and analytical workloads, what transactional workloads, OLTP, OLAP, and you're also going to be learning more about roles in the data industry like database administrator, um, data engineer, data analyst. And the second part of this exam is going to be drilling you on relational data on Azure. So this takes about 20 to 25% of the whole exam curriculum. So you're going to be learning about normalization, what normalization means, how to normalize your data. You're going to be learning about SQL. Microsoft uses Transact SQL, which is like TSQL for querying databases. And you're also going to be learning about the Azure SQL family, like the SQL managed instance, the virtual machine, the SQL database itself, and other open source Azure systems like uh, MariaDB, Postgres. So the third part is the non-relational database on Azure, which takes about 15 to 20 percent of your entire exam curriculum. So you're going to be learning about the blob storage, file storage, basically Azure storage, blob file, um, table storage, and most importantly, Cosmos DB. You're going to be learning about Cosmos DB, different file um, storing systems with Cosmos DB. So all these things I'm mentioning is just foundational knowledge. You just need to know what they do, their responsibilities, you need to know how to configure, you need to know how to set it up, but you will actually be doing this in the exam. The last and final section is analytical workloads. Analytical workloads take about 25 to 30% of the entire exam curriculum. You're going to be learning about analytical data stores on Azure. You're going to be learning about tools that you can use to analyze data to um, transform data as well. You're going to be having foundational knowledge on things like Azure Synapse, Azure HD Insights, Hadoop, Apache Spark, and all of that stuff. You're going to be learning about badge and streaming data, how you can process data that comes in badges, how you can process data that comes in a sort of streaming like from an IoT device. You're going to be learning about Azure Event Hubs. And lastly, under analytical workflows, you're going to be learning about Power BI. But this is not like a deep dive into Power BI as a tool for representing data, but you just need to know basic things like what bar charts are used for, line charts, tree maps, key visualizations, just those basic knowledge of what they are used for and what they can be used to represent. So now you've heard all these beautiful things, how do you prepare for this exam? Usually for any Microsoft certification, the first requirement to prepare for any MX exam is the Microsoft Learn platform. Microsoft Learn has different resources for preparing for all their certification exams. So I'd advise to navigate, so I think I'll leave a link in the description box. Another thing I liked about the Microsoft Learn um, 
resource guide is that it's very structured it goes in a flow it follows the exam syllabus so that's the best resource i recommend for anybody that wants to take this exam now the second resource i used was a resource from udemy it was quite basic i bought the course at the discount price i'll leave a link in the description box this course kind of like expanded my knowledge so the things that were microsoft learned that i didn't really understand the course helped me to break down those things into different concepts now other things i used to prepare i didn't use any books but i used random youtube videos there was a certain time where i was confused with so many concepts data lake data warehouse lake house sqldb managed instance i mean those concepts were a lot so i saw myself googling those words um, video by video to make sure that I really understand what I'm doing and I really understand those terminologies. So you might be asking, Chisel, how long do you take to prepare for this exam? I took approximately two to three months. I don't know when I scheduled the exam, but I know it took me about two to three months to prepare for this exam. Why? Because I wasn't really taking the exam for the certification. I wasn't really desperate for the certification, but I just knew that preparing for the exam would give me the opportunity to be well seasoned in handling data on the cloud. So the cost of this examination is approximately $99 because I'm in Nigeria, but it depends on the location that you're in. If you're watching this video from another country, the cost might be different. So caution in terms of preparing for the exam, like I said, Azure has so many data tools. So at some point, you're going to get confused because you're going to be seeing different things. You're going to be seeing words that are similar you're going to be seeing concepts that are similar there are certain tools that do the same thing but they are not so same they are, they are very different so try to get like a structured study note to make sure that you're taking notes of the things that you're learning and can i be able to also differentiate between this and this because trust me in the exams what i noticed was that most of the questions were very very confusing i feel like if you did not prepare for this exam very well you're going to end up picking the wrong answer so i'd always advise read the question properly try to make sure that you've gotten the concepts clear what did i score common exams in microsoft certifications usually have a pass mark of 70 percent what i got was 80 percent you have to try to prepare to get at least a 900 or 90 percent so that when you do get your actual score it doesn't pass 70 percent the timing for the exam is i think about 65 minutes i am not sure i will think the correct time in the description or I'll put it on the video make sure that you show up at least 30 minutes before your exam person does this thing where you're not meant to have anything on your deck you're not meant to have anything behind you or anything beside you that's going to implicate you so try to make sure that those things are set up even a day before other things to note will be make sure that you have a valid identification card so once you pass the exam or once you're done with the exam you're going to see your results immediately after you see your results microsoft is going to send you a congratulatory email saying that you've passed your exam and you cannot go to credit to assess your exam badge and share with your friends your linkedin your twitter and what are the next steps when you finish taking this exam this exam is like a prerequisite to so many other certification exams at microsoft so you can go ahead to register for higher examinations like database administrator database engineer power bi developer but if you're someone that's not really in the data space and you just want to know or master data in the cloud then you can stop here so guys this is the end of this video a really short video i would want to wish you good luck if you're planning to schedule an exam if you have any other questions please feel free to use the comment section to ask me about any other questions don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment as well see you guys in the next video bye